Good morning everybody. It is almost 9.30 on a Saturday and I really need to get going because I am taking myself to a little solo date in Azubudai Hills. I think that's how it's called. I always get it wrong, but it's the place near Tokyo Tower, like that huge, huge skyscraper that they've been building for ages now. It's been open since November of last year, November 2023, and this is my first time going because I am going to the new Team Labs exhibition that opened yesterday. So this is going to be the first opening weekend day and I expect that it's going to be very crowded and my anxiety is already pretty high. So even though now it's quite early, I'm going to get going just so I can go there, take my time, try and be present because that's something anxiety does to you you just you focus on the future and I, I just want to be present i want to enjoy it i want to enjoy being on the train i want to enjoy finding my way there and i want to enjoy the exhibition so i just want to be early and take my time and everything this is what i'm wearing you guys know this dress already i wear it a lot very fluffy very fluffy dress but I couldn't find anything that was like ah oh, this is gonna look good in team labs and airy and dreamy I need some new clothes it's I'm uninspired but yeah this is what I'm wearing I'm getting my hair re-bleached very soon so it's not gonna look so weird I hope but yeah this is the outfit and technically today was supposed to be a date it was supposed to be a team labs date but my date ditched me which is a good thing in the end like dodged a bullet but I, I, I am going by myself because I don't want to waste a ticket. That guy is wasting his ticket, but um, I chased him and got the money back for it <laughs> because I paid for everything. So I'm going to make a day out of it. I'm going to explore Azubudai Hills. I'm going to go to the new team labs, which is bittersweet because I've been to two team labs before and those two times were a date. And those two dates ended up being like relationships. <laughs> so this time, the third time, I'm going by myself. At least I'll be safe. Nothing will come of it. There's no pressure. I'm by myself. I can film, I can take some photos. I can just immerse myself in the exhibition, I hope. Anxiety, please stay home. It would be very nice of you if you could just stay here. But yeah, let's enjoy today. Let's be present. And then, actually, it's so far, beautiful blue sky. Yesterday was also beautiful blue sky and then the clouds came in, but let's see. So, yes, let's go. building is freaking amazing. I'm gonna visit later but I saw that people are already lining up and it's not gonna open for another 15-20 minutes so I guess I'm gonna line up too. <laughs> Wow, they really outdid themselves. It was an amazing experience. Even by myself, I could fully immerse myself in it. It was truly amazing. I filmed a whole bunch in there that I can't fit in this video. So I might turn my remaining footage into a Patreon video if anyone is interested in that 
I feel like this one was a mix of the previous exhibitions mixed in with some new ones and whole new experiences and this is a permanent exhibition the previous ones have closed i think so maybe that's why they put so much effort and attention to detail it was truly truly amazing and worth going the led room used to be one of my favorites but I've seen it twice now, so I think this time my favorite was one of the new rooms where you had spheres rolling down slides and mirrors everywhere and it was just really beautiful and intricate and everywhere you looked there was something else moving and changing it was truly mesmerizing another favorite that doesn't really look good on photos or on video is a room with the lily pads i think they had one in a previous exhibition but the ambience the feeling like the atmosphere is really really calming in some way you enter beneath the lily pads and then the next room you're above the lily pads and the lighting is really cute and things like that another room that blew my mind because of technical skill and the calculations that must have gone into this was the one where the lights were changing to create a pattern and then a story it just completely I, I couldn't wrap my brain around it, it was truly something else. Honestly, there's nothing that I disliked, there was so much to see, so much to immerse yourself into. The final one that I want to mention, and it's probably one of my favorites with the sphere and slide room, is the one where it feels like you're diving into another dimension, you're diving into an ocean, you're diving or floating in space. They've done it so like you're standing still but the whole room feels like it's moving and it's kind of dizzying but in a good way. So I'll just leave it at that and if you do visit this Team Labs exhibition, make sure you know what you want to see, make sure to know what's available in advance because some of the rooms are difficult to find and if you don't know they exist in advance, you may never come across them and that would be quite a shame. After the exhibition, I walked around a little bit, found a few more like little galleries that you could visit for free that were quite interesting, so make sure to have a look around. And then I headed to the garden area because I was starving. like they're still building right over there so let me find a spot there are so many nice restaurants like there's one like right behind me called Sheldon Burger that looks absolutely delicious but yeah as you know I can't afford anything so there's like a really fancy kombini it's just a fancy family mart so I just bought the usual if you know me take a guess I don't want to find that bridge thing, but I'm too hungry, so I'm gonna find a spot in the garden area because I saw they had like these steps that people were sitting on and eating. So I'm gonna go back to there and eat something, and maybe my brain will function again after that. And I can talk a little bit more about this place, which is madness. Okay, let's go. Don't you think that these seats look like little dumplings? Is this, is this what it's supposed to be? It is adorable. I love them. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking that area over there. There are little stalls here and there. That one sells like drinks and ice cream. That one sells crepes. But the crepes are fancy. So I just bought myself a two nitty, a protein bar, and a juice for less than one crepe there. Eaten, I recovered with the noise cancelling headphones. Those are a godsend for anxiety. I'm gonna walk around a little bit more before heading elsewhere or back home because I think that there's an observation deck somewhere. Somewhere. So I'm gonna try and find it and if it's free, I'll go up. And it's getting really busy. That's Saturday for you. So earlier, remember when I said that people were already lining up for what I thought were Team Lab? was Team Labs? It was actually for this really popular bakery. <laughs> Apparently that they're really, really good. Well, clearly, because people are still lining up now. <laughs>
maps made me go all the way around to this tower to go to the observatory, right? Right? Tell me why. Now that I'm back at the reception of this tower, tell me why the garden area is right there. Literally, I go out the door. It's right there. Google Maps, what are you doing? So guys, if you're in that little garden area, the tower is literally right across. Well, I guess I'm for a 10 minute walk from nothing, but... So many people are arriving at the observatory now. Like, a whole crowd of people just went by. There was no one a second ago. So weird, okay. <laughs> Maybe it's just time for you guys to come in. I'm gonna get out because there are a bunch of people that are just... I'm kind of hiding, but also not. Okay. I'm home already. It's barely 4 p.m. and I'm home already. <sighs> Let's do a debrief. Let's do some quick reviews of the new 2024 team lab, which I think is permanent. It's always going to be there in that area in that building so no need to rush you can go whenever you want if you're coming to tokyo it'll just be there maybe they'll have like specific like little events or something but anyway it's permanent and honestly they did a, a great job they did an amazing job it's the usual team labs but i feel like they combine the best of the ones they've done so far and honestly, it was really good. It was a great experience. I don't really have any negatives to, to say that, except maybe their app, because in, on their app, you can connect to like Bluetooth. Like you can actually download their app when you arrive because they have their own Wi-Fi, so you don't need, you know, it's easy. You can download their app. And the app is supposed to tell you which art thing you're near to. <laughs> Why can I speak? Because if you have been to a team lab event, expo, some rooms are hard to find because you're in the dark and it's kind of like a maze and there are sometimes these little nooks that lead into a special room and sometimes they're really hard to find and you have to go around a few times before you find it. So it was my understanding that with the app, you click like find arts pieces near me. I think that's what it said I already. I already uninstalled it. Um, <laughs> there's like this button and then it loads the ones that are near you. So I thought I was gonna be able to use it to find <laughs> the art pieces that I wanted, well, the art rooms that I wanted to see. And no, it did not help at all. <laughs> I got lost. I went around so many times. I was looking for the specific room because I was trying to think like, okay, which ones have I seen on online that were being promoted that I haven't seen yet? And there was one specific room that I knew I hadn't seen yet and I couldn't find it. And uh, it took me forever. Maybe that's the one negative point. Otherwise, totally recommend it really worth it if you've seen even if you've seen the other ones this one was my my third and i still really enjoyed it well how was it going by myself it was fine because i was going there mostly to film for you guys i tried to like put away my camera a few times and like totally immerse myself and i did enjoy it but the fact that i kind of had like the work work like this is not exactly my work it's like my hobby right um <laughs> the fact that i had like kind of a work had on did help because of course like i mentioned before the previous times i'd gone there on dates with people who then became my boyfriends and there were a lot of couples and i did feel a little bit like huh it would be so nice to go here on a date again yeah sure i did have that in the back of my head but i still managed to enjoy it so if you're a solo traveler, if you're a person who enjoys doing things by themselves, or if you just don't have a choice, sometimes that happens, like me, most of my friends weren't available today, it's okay. If I can do it, you can do it. So it was still very enjoyable. But if you can go with someone else, I also do recommend that experience 100%. Just be sure to take someone you can actually enjoy it with and share the experience, which is why I said I dodged a bullet by not going with that other person. <laughs> much better to go alone. And then the whole rest of the area was nice to walk around. I didn't do much. It was cold and it was crowded and I did have a high anxiety day. Like not unmanageable, but I, 
if I had to like put it on a scale, I would put it up there like on the higher second half of the anxiety scale. So even though I know there are a lot of things to do in that area, a lot of cafes, restaurants, there are really nice temples. I want to say temples and there's the shrine, I think. Like things to visit. There are a lot of things to do and I didn't do them, but they'll still be there next time. That's what I was thinking because I was starting to feel overwhelmed. I needed to take breaks with my headphones and just relax and stuff. So yeah, we'll still be there next time. I'm glad that I had a look around a little bit in the shopping mall. Shopping malls are frustrating for me as you already know because I can't buy anything. So it was just like a quick look around. And I was glad that I was able to find the observatory. Did I say that right? Observatory. Yes. I was glad that I was able to find it. It's a little tricky to find if you don't know that it exists. They don't advertise that there is an observatory. Maybe because it's still new and they don't want like a whole bunch of people going there at once. So yeah, it was fun. Not too many people yet and a really nice view. I've never seen Tokyo Tower like that. That was really cool. That was really fun and it's free for now. So. Yes. I would definitely go back and explore. I don't know why just going there for a couple of hours. How many hours total? Like, I was there a little before 11 a.m. and now it's almost... No, actually it is 4 p.m. exactly. So less than five hours, I would say. That's not very long. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know why it made me so tired. I was just like nodding off in the train. I don't understand. I really don't. I don't know if it's the anxiety just being overwhelmed because I used to go out all day on weekends when I was in a relationship last year. My my ex loved shopping malls so we would spend entire days walking around shopping malls, chatting, going to cafes and we would do that like maybe from noon to like late at night like just enjoying and walking and talking and all those things and like doing all these things and I, I was dead by the end of the day but it made sense because we'd been walking and doing things all day but by myself my battery drained way faster so maybe it does make sense that sometimes having a person that is your person next to you does like keep you energized and it makes things more fun and yeah <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't know. I, I just wanted to say it because it was an observation that I had earlier. Like, why am I so tired? Why was it less fun? Yeah, even though I'm used to doing things by myself, I guess doing things with someone you really care about makes all the difference. So yeah, but I do want to challenge myself to do these a little more, even like short things like today. I think that if I push myself, maybe once a week, once every two weeks, to just go out and explore by myself in one of the more busy areas, maybe I can build my resistance, my tolerance back up. <laughs> just talking about it just made my, my chest like go... <laughs> so yeah, anyway, enough rambling. I'm, I would be curious to hear your opinions about like why is it more tiring to go alone than with someone who is like your your person or someone you feel comfortable with yeah curious about that theory anyway thank you for watching today was fun i hope you enjoyed the little snippets that i was able to capture here and there and um let me know what area i should explore next hope you're well i'm gonna crash now i need to drink about a liter of water and maybe order uber eats because i was kind of I was good today with money, I didn't spend too much, so maybe I deserve a new burrito.